I didn't hear the doorbell. Yeah, Harriet let me in. Caught her on her way out. I think she was going on a date with Robbie. They better not be. Why? I like Robbie. Well, I don't. Well, you don't like anyone. I like plenty of people. I like Harriet and Taylor and you. Oh, I'm honored. <laughs> Wait, speaking of Taylor, did you hear the news? Uh, I guess not. She's moving in with her boyfriend. Oh, that uh, Weston guy, Randall? Who else? And Jordan, guess the best part. She found someone that makes her really happy and she's gonna spend a lot of her life with him? Well, yeah, that, but I meant the best part for me. Okay, tell me. I'm the one who got them together in the first place. Really? I knew Randall already. We went to computer camp together. And when Taylor was heading off for college, I told her she should look him up. Someone to show her around the city. Guess he showed her more than just the city, right? Ew. <laughs> I did this, Jordan. I created something beautiful. Congratulations. I should do this more often. I should set you up with a girl. Oh, God, no, please. Okay, fine. But I should set up someone with someone. I'm good at it. Maybe. I mean, this is lucky, you know? Like, good for Taylor, and good for Randall, and whatever. But, you know, you didn't actually do anything. You can't make people love each other. Jordan, if I hadn't introduced them, Taylor and Randall wouldn't have met at all. You can't say I didn't do anything. Okay, yeah, but... I don't know, what I mean is, you can't... <sighs> love just isn't a set of circumstances, you know? And I'm saying the love wouldn't exist without the circumstances. Agree to disagree? Always. So what's up? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to see if you wanted to get some pizza. Jordan, you know me. I always want to get pizza. All right, then.